In this ukulele review, I'm gonna go over the Gretsch. This is the 6930 model from the 1950s. Hi, I'm Terry Carter, and welcome to You Collect the Pros. If you're into ukulele reviews and tutorials, and even some guitar lily stuff, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and then turn on that bell notification. So I got a real special instrument for you today and I actually want to get this video in because I have to return it but this came from the collection of ukulele Ray one of the uh, great ambassadors of the ukulele he was located right here in San Diego I knew him uh, right before he passed away and uh, I have recently got a couple of his ukuleles to uh, check out and decided to throw this review up let me play a little bit and then we're going to go over this old vintage Gretsch here All right, so these, uh, I'm not really sure what, I don't know a lot about them. And a matter of fact, the only reason I know this is a, a 6930 model is because of doing some research on the internet. This doesn't have any numbers on it, any letters, anything. The only thing it has is the Gretsch sticker here on the headstock, but inside there's nothing at all. So, um, so believe that this is from the 50s. This is all mahogany. Like a, it's like a satin mahogany, it's fairly dark mahogany. This seemed to be very common during this era to make the mahogany ukuleles. This is a soprano, as I mentioned, so all the way around. Um, this doesn't seem to be a super expensive ukulele. Um, matter of fact, the one I saw online came with a, like a box and a gig bag and a book that came with it so um, not sure if this was kind of more of a student or a starter model um, it doesn't feel overly heavy it's actually fairly light and uh, fairly simply made you know no binding uh, on it anywhere um, but anyway it is still cool and it is still vintage so this is like as i mentioned a soprano the length of this thing is about 13 minutes and the way i measure is from the inside of the nut to the uh, inside of the saddle here um, and actually, this saddle, if you can look at it, is actually all one piece. So there's not even a, anything separate here. It's just a bridge and a saddle, all one piece. Um, it's 13 and 3 8 inch. So that's pretty, you know, within the realm of a soprano. As I mentioned, this thing is very light. It does have a very cool Gretsch headstock here. And then it has these old school uh, pressure tuners um, here as well. All mahogany neck. So this one... It still has some dust on it because I'm going to return it back to the uh, Ukulele Ray uh, estate today, but I didn't want to wipe it off. But um, it feels cool. It sounds pretty cool. It's a little out of, it's tuned up, but it's, the intonation is a little bit off, but I'm sure that could be fixed if, if uh, you know, you wanted to. So let me play a little bit more and you can get a little bit more of the uh, sound of this thing. So as you can hear, the, the, little, the intonation's a little bit off. Like I said, this thing is in tune, but uh, that's all right. I mean, you know, that's to be expected. It's an old instrument. I don't even know how old these strings are. I mean, Ray could have had these strings on for a really long time. But hey, it's really cool. It's, it's, it's easy to hold, easy to, uh, you know, play as well. Don't necessarily need a strap for these small ones. And, uh, yeah, just, I mean, 1950s, you think about that, how old it is, uh, when I'm doing this video here, we're talking about an instrument that's over 70 years old. Now, I'm not sure if this is original case, but this is the case that I, I got with it. Just a, just a, it's just a cardboard case, but it's actually, it's just kind of cool and, and old as well. Everything's kind of rusted out on it. So anyway, this is the Gretsch. This is the uh, 6930. Uh, 
cool instruments. I'm glad that I was able to check this out and then do this video for you. Let me, uh, let me do a little bit more playing and then uh, we'll get out of here. All right, thanks for checking out the review of this Gretsch 6930 model. Uh, appreciate you being here, and we'll see you next time.